Okay, let's build this sawmill. Okay, first thing we gotta do is put in a whole bunch of bolts and get this track system set up. Next thing we want to do is put on these carriage stops on the end of the track so the saw doesn't come sliding off. Okay, next step is to put in three log dogs. And these go across here and have a little support system to help you hold your logs in place. Okay, next thing is to put in the log supports. There's two sizes, one for the longer logs and a shorter one for just the cans. Okay, now it's time to get to work on this head assembly. And the first thing we gotta do is put these two front posts through these slots here. All right, the next thing we wanna do is put these carriage legs on. Next up, rear posts. Now we gotta put on this big top cross member. I got my forklift to help me out because I'm here alone. Now we got this pulley assembly. We also have here a log scale indicator bracket. Okay, and now we need to put on the lubrication tank. Now we gotta put on the dashboard. Now right here, I'm gonna put an hour meter. Okay, now we gotta put on the pulley system for the lift mechanism. Bolt, spacer, pulley, washer, and the nut on the end. Now we gotta put on the lift mechanism, which goes just under here. And then similar to the other side, we've got a pulley system, except this time we've got two pulleys. So bolt first, then a spacer, then a pulley, then a smaller spacer, then a second pulley, and then a washer, and then a nut. Now we'll tighten it all down. Okay, now we gotta route some cables. The first one comes up and over this cable, and then down to this bottom pulley here, and then around this back bottom pulley, and then it comes down underneath and attaches right under here. Okay, and the other cable is gonna come up over this top pulley, around this one, to this back pulley here, and around the final turn, and again, attached on the bottom. Now we gotta put on the log scale. Now the push handle. Now the throttle. Now we gotta loosen this, tighten up the throttle cable, tighten that back up. Now it should work. Just like that. Now we gotta hook up the auto lube hose. And that goes from the tank down to that junction, from that junction all the way down underneath into this shaft here, which comes out and we'll spit out of here to loop the blade to keep it nice and cool. Okay, now it's time to put the saw on top of the track. Okay, now we'll use this handle here to wind it up and lift up the saw and see if we can run down the track. and that's how you do that. Now this is the HM130 Max, which is the widest sawmill that Woodland Mills makes, meaning it can cut up to a 30 inch wide log. I also got the extended track. Usually it's like a 10 foot five, and now I added another six and a half feet on, so it's like a 17 foot cut. Um, and I gotta point out, I've never used a sawmill before, and I've obviously never assembled a sawmill before, and I'm not trying to say that's anything special about me, but the guys at Woodland Mills did a fantastic job building a sawmill and putting together a really good instruction manual to the point that I was able to put it all together by myself without really much headache. Obviously it did take some time, but it was really straightforward and very well explained, and now I'm ready to get cutting. Well, it would be. It doesn't come with a battery, so I gotta run to town to get a battery, and I'm pretty excited to get this thing fired up, test it out, and start cutting some of my own lumber.